Hello once again and we're going to do a product review on non terra quaeus or non terra quacker I, I can never ever pronounce this pronounce this title um, non terra quaeus or I think it's non terra quaeus um, well, that's how I would, I, we used to call it non equators when I was a quit when I was a kid <laughs> um, anyway whatever it's called <laughs> there it is um, so here we are, we see a interesting, I don't know what that's supposed, supposed to be, a, looks like a spaceman getting blown to bits or something, a um, little bit deformed there I see, but not an interesting um, cover art there. Uh, so this is the old Mastertronic logo, the original, um, so this was one of the, I would say this game pre back dates to 1985 maybe maybe earlier maybe something in that region i don't know um i originally had this on the amstrad tpc um i think that came out before the commodore 64 version um i have to say the amstrad version was better in my opinion just like this version of the commodore 64 just looked like a spectrum bolt to me but the amstrad had a lot more color and it was a bloody hard game but it just seemed better to play and I'm waffling on a bit now so let's have a look at the side the old um, grid styled Mastertronic mm -hmm. thing non terraqueous I'm gonna stick with that <laughs> um, so, yeah, so let's have a look at it inside shall we yeah that is the Commodore 64 screenshots as you can see it looks very spectrumy I'm um, inside um, the aim of the game as it tells you about it, tells you about foreign languages and all. So, okay. So, what do we have here? Um, yeah, it just tells you about it a little brief. Tells you about it briefly. Um, so, let's have a look at the cassette. Non Terraqueous <laughs> Mastertronic. Yep, this game works. Um, yeah. Not much to say about this game really, apart from the title. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, till next time and goodbye.